had this come in a couple days ago. Not sure if you can uh, see what it says there on the box. Stripmeister E250. Once I've all got the money, I'll well go get it. So I'm just kind of holding on. Working on the motor yesterday, so wanted to hang on and open this with you guys. And we've got an Allen screw or Allen wrench in here. Uh, looks like the extra blade, a fuse, and I guess some mounting screws. Warranty claims must be in its original packaging. Well, I'm glad everybody doesn't do this. Guy would have to have a mini storage just for all the empty boxes. Imagine I bought a refrigerator and had to keep the box. So, okay, I'll keep the packaging. I got a shed out there I can put it in as long as my wife doesn't end up using the box or something. I'll probably be all right. Yeah, it's a little nippy out here this morning. Let's see how they got this routed around here. This unit here in the States, of course, this came from Canada. I guess I think they got free shipping in Canada. It was about $40 shipping after shipping and everything. Sure makes it look bigger in the videos. I mean, that motor is not much bigger around than my hand. But, uh, I think it's about $480 for the complete unit. Got your Romax, got your different settings there. Got your adjustment dial to adjust your cutting blade. Something a little bit different. And it's got little markings on it. I'm going to push it all the way up since I'm going to be doing some of this uh, solid core. Uh, I think it's 12 gauge. Yeah, 12 gauge wire. I was hoping it would be a little bit warmer out here, but it's not. Uh, let's see. I've got a cord right here behind me. Of course, now, this plug-in over here is only powered when my lights are on. That's the way I wired it up. I need to probably add a little more wire to it and <coughs> wire it into the main power. Send it back. Well, I'm sure this is working. It was working the other day. testing these things out. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is not good at all. Power 180. Surely I don't have to get in there. I hope not. So it's kind of telling me this video here just might be a bust, huh? power. Okay, there's turning. And I'll kind of set it up with this little short one because I have no idea where we're at on this thing. And I got nothing. There's pulling it through. See where it cut anything, so I'll uh, bring it down a little more. I need to get on this side and watch it, make sure I'm under the blade. No, I'm off to the side of the blade. Like it might have been under at that time. I still don't see a cut though. Nice and quiet. I bet this will work great on big wire. Okay, it looks like I'm just about there. Just kind of cutting the end there. Can't really see. Yeah, I guess setup time is probably the biggest factor. Definitely did it. The question is how, did, how far did I cut into the copper? Raise it back up a little bit. But that definitely stripped it nice. Okay, I need a bucket. Brand new one from one of my favorite stores, Harbor Freight. Uh, I guess that's something else I should say. Uh, I am in no way connected with Stripmeister. <coughs> Whew, allergies. Uh, I paid full price for this. Excuse me. I don't know how long this thing is going to work. But. Now you can get this unit right here, this little piece here. You can pick that up for 
Okay, two, uh, 229. Yep. Went part way and slipped off the blade. It may be better to stay with smaller wires. Stripped about that much of it and slipped off. So what I'll do, I'll cut it right there. This thing's pretty chewed up anyway, really. Probably a rough wire to be trying to even demonstrate with. Of course, I've seen others, they say they have to kind of, with that one blue machine, they have to kind of help guide it in there. So I guess that's probably just going to be factor makes it nice and easy I saw one guy one video I don't remember who it was but a lot of wire and they separated it by thickness before they started stripping I can see how that would make it a lot easier because it does take a, a few minutes to line this up. I could speed this up, I don't know. If it's a long piece. I may have to start going around some of these houses they've been building around here and start uh, seeing if I can't scrounge up some some wire. Okay, there's just that little bitty piece left on here, so what I'm going to do is I don't want to have to run the whole thing through again. The next few, the next four or five days, it might get a little rain. That felt a little tight. I may have to come up. I don't want to cut into the metal too much and dull the blade. Yeah, it's cutting in there a little bit. So that's something I have to watch for. Now this is a. There's some flimsy wire here, this is stranded. Might be thinner. Yeah. It may not run this stuff very well, I don't know. That went off to the side. a little challenge to get that one to get back to the solid core a whole lot better. That thing is we're trying to see in there. I may have to do that one with my other one, huh? I can't tell if it cut or not. I'll just leave that one be. I may have to set this up. Oh, let's 
see. I may have to set it up on uh, something that's up about eye level, I guess, to where I can eyeball it in there, make sure it's put it on a taller table or get a lower chair. I've actually got a, a stand out there that I could probably bolt it down to that's adjustable. If you're liking these videos, please uh, subscribe, like, and share. That's yeah, making a nice cut. Raise it up a little. It still looks like it's cutting just fine. Yeah, it kind of bent up at the end, so if it makes a nice cut. It's easy to see once you get it adjusted down in there. Adjusted it up just a hair more. It still looked like it was cutting just fine. But, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, very possible for this thing to pay itself off in a short time. I don't know if I have enough wire on hand for it to pay itself off, but uh, something that's going to take about 250 pounds of wire, give or take. Yeah, this thing just kind of kinked and wobbled through the, through the end there. I'm going to have to make sure I... You almost need to make a little table or stand it and have a drawer or something or, that I can put that on. And I think this little piece that didn't cut well. sit here and strip. My original plan was to strip this whole pile of wire, but uh, I think that's going to make for an awful long video. So I think I'll go ahead and shut it off. I don't know why this thing didn't c come on at first. I don't know if it was just a bad, I didn't have it plugged in properly. I'm sure glad it started. I sure didn't want to have to file a warranty claim and send it back already. Still got a lot out there to tear down. I fix and take my oxygen bottle this afternoon and I put the cap on it so I can run it down into Chickasha and get it exchanged. And then uh, I've got five or six uh, refrigeration compressors around here. We've got another one outside that's on the platform, maybe at the base, but uh, I think it's got a little bit of copper tubing on it, so I need to cut the copper tubing off, get it off the base, then I'll bring my cutting barrel in here and I might do a video cutting them down again. It's been a while since I've uh, did a video cutting compressors down and uh, of course I don't think I have any window unit compressors and which those I used to cut well I guess I'll just explain that in, in that compressor video. Thanks for watching everyone and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Bye-bye.